All right, so let's take a look at some metabolic waste. Uh, the first is urea. Urea is a chemical that is a byproduct of the breakdown of amino acids. So uh, amino acids are gonna go to our liver and they're gonna be deaminated. And I think I talked about this in the last chapter, uh, but what we do in deamination is remove the nitrogen. So with amino acids, we can use amino acids for energy, uh, but we can't use the nitrogen that is on those amino acids for energy. So we chop it off and we make ammonia with that, and eventually we make urea, all right? And so urea uh, gets actually filtered through uh, on the glomerulus, and about 50% of it gets reabsorbed back into our blood just by diffusion processes. The next one is uric acid. And uric acid is a byproduct of the breakdown of nucleic acids, RNA and DNA. All right, now nucleic, uh, uric acid, even though it is a metabolic waste, most of it is reabsorbed. So about 90% is reabsorbed by active transport back into our blood. And that's because uric acid uh, has benefit for us in that it is a antioxidant. So it's gonna absorb these uh, free radicals that are made through metabolic processes. Uh, so some vitamins are free rat or antioxidants like vitamin C and vitamin E. All right. So the thing about uric acid though is uh, some of it is good, more of it is bad uh, because uh, some uric acid is good for us. But if you have too much uric acid, it can collect in your joints and crystals, and this leads to what is known as gouty arthritis. All right. Let's take a look at the uh, elimination of urine. So moving ahead here. All right. So. Once again, we make urine in the nephron, and then that uh, urine goes to the collecting duct, and then the collecting duct moves into a calyce, which moves into the renal pelvis, which then goes into the ureter. So let's take a look at those ureters. So a ureter is a tubular organ that transports urine from the kidneys to the urinary bladder. So here's the kidney, there's a ureter, taking it to that uh, urinary bladder. And peristaltic contractions are going to move uh, that urine. So that's where we squeeze behind the urine, getting it down those tubes. Now, at the ends of the ureters are valves that prevent the backflow of urine into the ureters. All right, let's take a look at the urinary bladder here. So this is a hollow, distensible, muscular organ that stores urine. Now, distensible uh, means stretchable, but you've got to think about it as stretching three-dimensionally. So like blowing up a balloon, all right? So there are four layers uh, to our urinary bladder. Uh, we have a mucus coat, then a uh, submucus coat, and then uh, a layer of muscles known as detrusor muscles. So uh, the detrusor muscles are the muscular wall of the urinary bladder, and we contract these to help uh, remove urine from the urinary bladder. Uh, and then outside of that is a serous membrane. So the last part here is urethra, and the urethra is a tubular organ that transports urine from the urinary bladder to outside the body. Now in males, it serves a second function. It also transports sperm and reproductive fluids. All right, let's look at the process of micturition, which is a urination reflex. So the urge to urinate comes from the distension of the detrusor muscles. So we stretch those detrusor muscles, they're gonna send uh, a reflex up to the brain, and then we get the urge to urinate. So uh, what's nice though, is that we have an external uh, urinary sphincter uh, that is made of skeletal muscles, and that gives us voluntary control over urination.